What's up guys? Welcome back. This is the same basically stuff. A little bit different as the last video. It's a uniform update. So, we start left from right. So what I got here is Marine Spats. My army ones were a bit big on me, so I had to convert back to my Marine Spats. These are a size 2 with the original writing. Pretty cool. This is the M1910 Haversack with a 1944 dated shovel and 1944 dated OD shovel cover. What you got here is the meat can with my utensils, 1944 dated Myro Company. Cartridge belt holds five rounds in each if you're using a 30 out 6 Springfield. You can hold 50 rounds each side. In total, 100 rounds. This is your M37 wool shirt with the gas flap. A lot of these guys in the war later cut them out. Because as you imagine, you're working all day. It's a wool shirt. You're going to get hot. M37 wool trousers, dress, and combat use. I got my khaki pistol belt. Medical armband. Sometimes I run riflemen, sometimes I run medical. If I run medical, medics did not carry rifles in the European theater. Medics only carried rifles in the Pacific theater. Just remember that. You have your 1910 combat suspenders. I sometimes use those or my haversack, which has my wool OD blanket. I forgot to show that. All right, let's get some of the two of the web gear. You have your Carlisle bandage pouch. Mine has an Altoid scan, which, if you're reenacting, passes for a World War II medical cover. Then you have your canteen. I'm not going to take it out because it's kind of a pain in my butt. And that's 43 dated. And I have a spare pistol belt I picked up here recently. For five bucks. <clears throat> All right, let's start with the sh now. Let's get to the shaving stuff. My knickknacks. Here you have a double bladed safety razor. I actually use this to shave, and you can still find these today. You can find any blade that kind of looks close to it, like that, and it works for your shaving. <laughs> Prince Abel, or Prince Albert, pardon me. These are cigarettes, long burning pipe and cigarette tobacco. From 1930 to 1940, these were produced by the company for soldiers or anyone. I use it for display purpose. purpose. Oof, what's wrong with me? I cannot get it open because it is rusted shut, but if I ever do get it open, I'll let y'all know. <clears throat> Ordnance Maintenance US Caliber 30. This is the War Department June 7th or June No, not June 7th. June 1947. I cannot use it for display, but it is nice to have around if I'm using an M1 Grand. Another display piece. The American Pineapple. There's bumps and ridges on it to signify that it helps for shrapnel use. Early war, these were painted yellow. They realized towards the end of the uh, beginning of the war, bright yellow grenades giving away guys' positions. I am missing my handle and the pin, but other than that, it's a good little display piece. Oh, yeah, and they bored out the bottom hole so you know it's safe. All right, let's get to the helmet in the area. This is your wool Jeep cap. A lot of the guys just warm to keep warm. Sometimes in the summer, you would wear this on your head, then put your helmet on top. This is the M1 steel pot. Now the World War II ones have been stainless steel brim with a front seam. Mine is not World War II, but it still passes. Mine is actually Korea, 1951 to 1952 era produced. Mine is a rear seam with OD straps. 
and with the leather chin strap for the liner. I'm going to show you that's the inside of the liner. These are your American service shoes, aka rough outs. These were used by the soldiers in Korea, early Korea to be more specific, and in the Pacific Theater during World War II. These were common to find, but they later switched them out with the double buckles because putting these gaiters on is not a fun time, especially if you're in a hurry getting shot at by Jerry or the Japs. Well, guys, that is my uniform update with some small knickknacks. Thanks for tuning in. Comment, rate, subscribe. See you all next time.